What's going on? I know I reviewed this already, but I just wanted to say, by the way, I am in love with this fragrance. I love this. I know I reviewed this already, but I just wanted to throw this out there. I can't get enough of. I got this for Christmas. Geranium Poor Monsoor by Frederick Maul. The perfumer behind this is uh, Dominique Ropion. I just can't get enough of this. This stuff is a masterpiece. Um, but what I want to talk about in this video, I want to talk about the five worst insults that I've gotten from women. Number one, this is the first insult that I've gotten ever since I was a teenager. Your voice sound gay. You know. I've had women say that my voice that 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 I sound gay. I could never understand that. The second insult that I've gotten since I was a teenager growing up. Um ugly as fuck. I had a female in community college tell me I was ugly as fuck. Was just sitting down in the hallway, minding my own business, wasn't doing nothing, you know, and um, the guy that I was supposedly cool with, you know, his homegirl just blurted it out and said I was ugly as fuck. You know, and this happened back in 2010 when I was only 21 years old, you know, um, very devastating memory. The third insult that I've gotten from a woman is um, I had a woman tell me that I was putrid. You know, putrid means nasty, stanking, decaying. You know, I had a woman hit me with that before. You know, very nasty insult. You know, I, that happened back when I was like, I'd say 19. Back in 2008, when I had this female tell me that I was putrid, you know, this was my brother's uh, babysitter at the time, you know, it's just sad. Um, the fourth, I'm going to go to the fourth insult that I've gotten from women. I had a female. Um, I had a female tell me, tell me that, um. I look like that. I look like I stank on social media. That's the fourth nasty insult that I've gotten, you know, um, and I'm pretty sure it was a black female. I'm sure because out of, you know, all races of women, you know, black women, you know, they, they're the worst, you know, they not going to hold back what they feel, you know, Tommy Sotomayor, you know, he's gotten me to really understand how demonic black people are. But um, yeah, I had a female say that I looked like I stank on social media. Um, very, very brutal insult. I'll say the fifth insult that I've gotten from a woman. Um, I had a female when I was in, um, when I used to attend, you know, Creflo Dollar's church. I had a black female because I grew up going to Creflo's church. Um, I had a female tell me that, um, you know, I stick out like a sore thumb. You know, I guess she was, you know, making a judgment. You know, she was making a judgment about some guys that I was associating with. And I guess she compared me to them. That's why she felt that I stick out like a sore thumb. And this incident here happened back when I was a teenager. When I was like maybe 15, 16, still in high school. So, you know, with these five insults that I've just named right here, I'm pretty sure you can tell that I've been catching hell for a long time. You know, I've been getting Lennox Lewis by these women, you know, for a long time. You know, been getting knocked out, you know, with these nasty insults for a long time. It's just sad the things that some people go through in life. You know, um, you know, I mean, I couldn't believe she said that to me when I was a teenager. I mean, it, it literally blew my mind. But it just goes to show you that 
some people really do have a hard time in life and some people really do experience hell, you know, and when you've endured a lifetime of hell, how are you supposed to be confident? How are you supposed to love yourself and feel good about yourself when you've endured a lifetime of hell? Now, you got some people, they'll say that you're negative. You're just a bad, you know, you're just trying to have a pity party. But those same people that's judging you, if they were in your position, more than likely they would want to kill themselves. I mean, it's just it's just unfortunate the things that some people go through in life is sad. And, um, you know, my heart goes out to people who are in bad positions because you just never know what a person may be dealing with or going through. That's why I'm not so quick to judge people and point the finger at people because you just don't know when it comes to people. You don't know what a person may be dealing with, you know, you just don't know, you know, you really don't know, but, um, I just wanted to make this video just to clarify some things to explain, you know, you know, in detail, the hell that I've experienced, but, um, I don't want to drag this video out too long. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and sign out life of hell incorporated, you know, hopefully this year be a better year, hopefully, because something needs to change, you know, for a lot of people, you know, myself included, but all right.